South Haven locals celebrated a community icon before its demolition in the coming weeks. The Nichols Family Covered Bridge will be demolished as part of a Michigan Department of Natural Resources paving project on the Calhaven Trail. The bridge sat on a 150-year-old railroad trestle, and the cover is believed to have been added in the late 1980s. Although it's being torn down, the DNR did agree to save and store some remnants of the covered bridge in South Haven for future use. Well, calling all Michigan artists, the Muskegon Museum of Art now accepting submissions for its 94th Michigan Contemporary Art Exhibition. It is the longest running juried show of its kind in the state. Now here's what you need to know. Artists got to be 18 and a current Michigan resident. You can submit up to two original pieces that have been completed in the last two years. There are 15 prizes up for grabs. You can enter online at callforentry.org. The exhibition runs September 28th through November 8th. And the Grand Rapids Pickle Club offering kids 8 to 17 years old free lessons at Belknap Park. There are four courts reserved just for the youth. The free lessons are offered on Sundays from 4 to 5. You must sign your child up to attend at Grand Rapids Pickle Club's website. Pickle, pickleball. Pickleball. What did I say? Pickle Club? Yeah, you said Pickle Club, yeah. yeah. Pickleball Club. Oh, uh, free play is offered after these lessons on Wednesdays beginning at 5. Pickle Club. No pickles there. Yeah. Right. Just Pickleball. I love it. That's what a great idea. Get more kids into this. I know. Sport. I need a lesson. I'm trying to get into pickleball, and I don't really. It's fun. It's, it's super so fun. fun. But I need a few lessons. Yeah, you got to do yeah. it. Well, here is after pickleball. You can go to McDonald's. Maybe for, they have a pickle club. Yeah, hold the pickles. I, I love. Give me all the pickles. No, okay. Um, <laughs> and they're releasing a new menu item just for Michiganders mm -hmm. and others visiting the restaurants here in our state. The chain announced their new pure Michigan mix frozen drink, a combination of the frozen blue raspberry and frozen lemonade drinks that are already available. You'll soon be able to get yours at more than 500 locations across the state. Now the limited edition cups, they also include QR codes that could win you some free passes to some of Michigan's biggest attractions. Oh, cool. Sounds kind of yum. Yeah. Do you remember the, uh, the jingle? Watch it wiggle. See it jiggle. Jello brand gelatin? No? Don't, doesn't uh, ring a bell? Yeah, no. I probably do. Well, but... it's National Eat Your Jello Day, regardless. Okay. Uh, this dessert goes way back. <laughs> oh 1897. God. Holy cow. What? Yeah. Francis Woodward, who brought, who brought the recipe and trademark, oh, he bought it a few years later, popularized the treat. Today, Jello has nearly two dozen flavors that can be used to make dozens of versatile combinations. Try it as a salad, or don't. Mix it up with fruit, or don't. Or add some alcohol for some fun summer shots. I was like, that's Jello I've had. I'll, I'll had alcohol in it, I think. I haven't eaten Jello oh, in a bit. Have you guys never had a good Jello mold at Christmas? Yeah, the Jello mold, yeah, but when they started putting like carrots and no, things that's gross. Gross. No, that's gross. Mm. Jello mold at Christmas, my mom makes it every year. It is a classic. It's so good. Mm, it is good. Maybe it's because I grew up with it, but no, like, I'm yeah, with you. I love it. Great. I love it. My well, like, grandma was all like, about the pudding. We used to eat pistachio pudding. Oh, so, like, the Jello oh. pudding, pistachio, that was okay. our thing. Jello, I was I Jello mold. And then with like the like softer, kind of like mushy, creamy top, mm -hmm, and then the Jello mm -hmm, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that Flour top is. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Like whipped oh, cream? Something, but okay. man. I haven't delicious. had breakfast. We got to stop talking about I know, this. I know. I <laughs> know. I'm going to get real hungry. Hey, let's get to your forecast, though, as we do have showers and storms around today. Likely this afternoon. I think anytime after one, even closer to that two to four o'clock time frame, we can see them more widespread to scattered. Some heavy downpours, even some stronger storms with a hail and wind being a concern possible in there as well. These can linger into early tomorrow morning. Second half of tomorrow will dry out and bring on the sunshine. Then shower and storm chances return second half of Friday into Saturday. Our better day of the weekend, of course, Sunday, all dry conditions. We're back to on and off again shower and storm chances as we head into next week.